presence, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. Tonight, you are going to witness the most extreme contest in all of Battledon. Tonight, it's six down to one in Extreme Annihilator! Ready for it! Are you sure? Then, Jonathan, tell us, mate, what's in store? Craig, what devilish delight and fearsome fright we'll have. Six rampant robots have shown their carnage class and mayhem mastery by winning through their heats to make this annihilated pussycat and splinter, exterminator and hypnodisc, Thermidor and Arnold A. Terminator. Around half dozen, five will be left tonight, weeping into the pits. Let's see how they got this far. First up, Pussycat meeting Smitzy and something. Pussycat, driven by David Gribble, nudging into something, and Smitzy was sent toppling. David and his dad, Alan, and Robert Bettington went through. Next up, we see Hypnodisc's progress. Look at that fearsome spinning disc slicing across wheelie big cheese. And Ming 3, shaped like razor, but blunted there by the disc. And there again. And ultimately for the Rose family, it was a spin to win. The Arnold A. Terminator team had before in Robot Wars entered a walking machine. This had a little bit more nip and tuck about it, destroying Wild Thing and Fluffy, but it was very, very close and went to the judges, and indeed a split decision, but it was Arnold A that went through. Splinter feared damage from Agrobot and Killatron. Killatron's lurid pink began to sink, and Agrobot also took damage from Stuart and Craig Waitman. And it was Splinter surviving. Thermidor, one of the most impressive robots we've seen in Extreme. Too strong for Behemoth. Out of the arena. How do you follow that? This is how. Stinger went out too. Watch for the lobster. In comparison, Exterminator looks rather ponderous. Don't let that fool you, though. They were too strong physically. And too well controlled for Panzer Wraith and Cataclysmic Variabot, the last of our finalists. If you are of a nervous disposition, I warn you, look away now. For the rest of us, let the Annihilator begin! <laughs> From High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire, Arnold Terminator. The Terminator team in the middle there, Ian English and his family. A box on wheels with a glowing red menacing eyes, an axe hammer weapon, the lifter acts as a Sremek. Arnold A is back. From Costasy, Norwich, Norfolk, Thermidor 2. Right, David Harding and driver Ian Harvey. The most impressive performer in extreme so far. The pneumatic CO2 flipper is devastating powerful. The claws will drag opponents on. And with 95 kilos slamming into you at 50 miles an hour, the Thermidor's cooking. From Gloucester, Pussycat. David Gribble driving on the left-hand side. His dad, Alan, behind him and Robert Bettington. The cat's litter, anything chewed up by the patented pussycat blade, agile as a cat, 14 miles an hour, top speed. A grand finalist in the last series of Robot Wars. From Thorpe Marriott, Norwich, Splinter. The Splinter Boys, far right, Stuart and Craig Waitman. A semi-finalist in Series 4, looking for revenge against it. Notice fast at 15 miles an hour, a pneumatic axe weapon and grabbing arm. From Belmont, in Hereford, Exterminator. The X-Men, Marlon Pritchard and Paul Lewis on the left there. A Series 4 semi-finalist, the quickest here at 18 miles an hour. The axe alone weighs 37 kilos, it has a 3-mech, the whole thing driven by a 24-volt motor. From Middleton Cheney, Banbury in Oxfordshire, Hypnotist. The Hypnotist Rose family in the middle. Big 
nasty disc, twice as much power than the last series. It's slightly heavier than before. It hits you at 75 miles an hour effectively. The shells, aluminium and mild steel. Robot thrown into mix and match, shunt with the bulldozer scoop and the diamond edge, axe powerful, resolute, and Matilda, pugnacious, pug ugly, pig headed. Roboteers, stand by. Three. Thermidor and certainly Hypnotist would be the favourites for this, but look for Pussycat as well, immediately on the attack on Arnold A. Also Splinter underneath Arnold A, this Hypnotist backing away, crunching on an Exterminator, this Exterminator with a big blade being pushed around there by Thermidor. Arnold A again under pressure from Pussycat. Pussycat spins away to have a go this time at Splinter, Splinter in the frame as well. Hypnotist backs away, this is Thermidor. Hypnotist thrown up on the top of Exterminator there, and Hypnotist taking pressure from Pussycat, they're all off the hook, it is. Early on there's Arnold A with the axe coming down on Hypnotist. It's bashing this! That's the game here, look at this, they're all off the Hypnotist! There it flies up, first of all, comes down, there's the axe going in on Arnold A, pushing out involved as well, Thermidor trying to get the grips, Hypnotist right in the middle, Thermidor's being pushed away to the CPZ, that's a good drive there by Splinter, our Thermidor immobilised, they need to get going very, very quick, but you want to wait to the top of your screen, there Arnold A coming in now on Exterminator, this is a very good display by Arnold A, Exterminator on the top of Hypnotist 2, Hypnotist have they been immobilised? Brutalised by the sheer force of enmity by the rest of the arena. Hypnotist is going nowhere at this moment in time. Being pursued by Exterminator and Splinter. Very good display by the Splinter team here. Crashing and bashing, taking on Exterminator. Hypnotist and the Rose Boys drive away, but it's Thermidor. He's being broiled. Well, that is a major surprise for me. And Hypnotist cannot get any space there to have a run and get the, bl <laughs> the blade into action. Poor old Thermidor never got going at all. And for me, the surprise of the show so far here splinter bottom of your screen and there Arnold A they've been brilliant that was one of my favorites what's happened to my lobster oh dear the world's your lobster it ain't you're just a fraud in our game I'm afraid and Hypnodisc has done little better another attack on Hypnodisc by exterminator the ref box indicator Thermidor off and they're as surprised as I am. And there's our first faller in this Six. annihilator. And the others survive, but only just, and they know it. Well, Thermidor were doing flipping good, but then they conked out, and they're out of the competition. Nice. Full on mayhem, carnage in there. I've never seen the arena so busy. No. You no. having a good time in there? Well, for a little while we did. You were really? outside. I said you were doing flipping good. You were flipping everything all over the place. Yeah, um, I did. we got banged in the corner there, and that was the end of us. It was touch and go with the hitmen. We're going to go as well. Well, we were a bit worried. Uh, <laughs> um, they didn't seem to be up to scratch at all. Well, I'm not sure we didn't really see them. We were <laughs> Keeping out of the way, yeah, were you? That's right. Well, UK Championships later on. You'll be back for that, won't you? Yeah, sure. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Thermidor! Exterminator, that was beautiful. Did you enjoy it? Fantastic. Brilliant. Fun. And the best bit being, of course... We took out a hypnotist like we said we were going to. Yeah. Everybody else took it out. We went for him and... So you're taking all the credit for that then, are you? Most certainly. And next round, if they get through, we're coming back to get some more. So Splinter had nothing to do with it? Splinter was just getting in our way. Who? <laughs> well, uh, well done, team. Splinter, Exterminator are taking quite a lot of credit for that. Smash up with Hypnodisc. Oh, are they? Yeah. What fight were they in? Yeah, cos uh, I think we got um, quite a few hits in there. Really? Pushing my bat a bit, used the axe quite a few times, yeah. It's a good fight. So you were pleased with yourselves? Yeah, I think we had to go at everybody, really, didn't we? Yeah, yeah nice bit of driving by Craig. We uh, kept in the action all the time. So Exterminator are all talk then, are they? Well, it sounds like it, from what you're saying. OK, well, I think we should take this straight to the horse's mouth and go and talk to Hypnodisc. 
a hypnotist team. Now, it's not really that, all that at the moment, is it? It's uh, Jules, sort of... It's a bit like, they're it's a gang, bit like that. They're ganged up on us. Three axes at the time is a bit much, <laughs> though, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, the disc, could you show them how sort of puny their axes are, though? Come on. Bring OK. Them. Let's look at the damage. Call it damage, Call eh? Call damage, chaps. Well, this is all something very positive. Total damage. Look at that. Look at that. Total damage, Jules. Yeah, look got, at it. You've got a lot from you. You guys My... are so invincible and difficult to beat that we've got two teams fighting for the right to say that it was their weapons They've got no chance. Out. got no chance. Was it Exterminator My... or Splinter that did most of the damage? I think it was a little flea in there that was jumping around on top of the disc. <laughs> My pussycat at home could do more than that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, so it's looking good. Now, can you get it back together for the well, next we, battle? We've actually got a technical problem. Uh, we lost we lost the movement altogether uh, at the end of that battle. Was that uh, the flea that did It must that? have been the flea, yeah, yeah, going to the wrong place. But we think it was um, actually a, a damaged battery. Uh, the lead plates within the battery sometimes short out. So we're going to change the battery, let's try it all again. And see fingers what crossed, we'll be back uh, in there for some more destruction. Let's hope so. I'll no leave you to it. No problem. <laughs>